Hey guys, welcome to this week's WTF. We are going to be playing with this lovely little expensive gem from Guerlain. This is the Meteorites Voyage Limited Edition powder, which essentially is a highlighter. It has different colors that are going to color correct the skin. You could focus this just on the cheekbones. You could put it everywhere. You could just put it on the high points of the face, but this sucker's $172. It is refillable though. So, you know, you have that going for you. I did get the limited edition case just because you guys in the comments and on Twitter, this is what you really wanted to see. You're like, this is ridiculous. Let's look at the case. What's so different? Um, feeling it, it is extremely heavy. Like this is kind of something that you could put out on the vanity and have almost, it's like a piece of freaking art. It, it feels kind of like a hockey puck actually. It's really, really heavy. I didn't really know that I wanted to do a first impressions on a product like this because I don't know immediately how much you're gonna be like, whoa, wow, like if it will translate through to the camera, to you guys, if you'll be able to see like this magnificent difference. Um, you know, the rest of my makeup is already on, but I am going to be out and about a ton today. So we will see outside in lighting, you know, maybe indoor at dinner. I, I just really want to focus in on how this makes the skin look and if that sheen and that reflection really lasts throughout the day making it worth $172. Um, I'm gonna say I don't think it's worth the money, uh, but we're all so gosh darn curious as to what is in there. Are there unicorn teardrops in here? Like what, what's going on? So I did a little bit of research. So you have purple to capture light, green to combat redness, champagne to illuminate, and pink to add a glow. So you have a little bit of everything. You swirl them all together, you put it on your face, and you look amazing. That is what it is supposed to do. This is a favorite of many. This is kind of one of those like cult classic, amazing, like, oh my gosh, you need to try it. And I have to say, I am so freaking in love with, where did you go? This golden makeup base. Holy shiz. Okay, if I had not done this series, I would have never discovered this. And I feel like it has firmed my face so, so much. I'm not even through one whole bottle yet, but because I loved this so much, every time I pass a Guerlain counter, I'm kind of like, like I feel like what else is hiding there that I need to try that would really just improve my makeup game and would make everything so much better because really isn't that what we're all after when we try these new products? We're like, what's best? What's out there that's best? I need something new that's just gonna make everything better. And a lot of the time products are very identical. They kind of do the same thing. But once in a blue moon, you find an item that is like, oh, how did I live without you? So they actually have micro spheres in here to encapsulate real diamond powder. So you actually are getting diamond powder for your face. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Um, okay, let's just kind of go like this. So you swirl around in here and it, you would think that you would get like color on your finger, but no, it's just kind of just this light little hue of like this glowy sheen. So on the skin, the microspheres in here are going to refract UV light, meaning that it's going to reflect in a way that just makes your whole face look like I am perfect. And that's why you're spending the big bucks. So let's grab a highlighty brush. By the way, I am wearing Jouer liquid lipstick in the shade Petal de Rose, and I love this. I think it is another one of those game-changing items, and I just can't wait to tell you guys that this is worth, um, it's a favorite right now. Okay, <laughs> back to this video. So I have my, my Morphe brush. This is from, no, this is not even the Elite Collection. Oh my God, I'm using a Morphe brush and this crazy expensive powder, but we're gonna make it work because I really like this brush. It's perfect for like right here, highlighty situation. This is the M501. So I'm going to swirl all the colors together and we'll just do one side of the face and kind of see how this goes. Diffuse my wrinkles, diffuse my wrinkles. Oh my God, it smells like lilac. That's amazing this side versus this side. This side is very, 
glowy and pretty. Ooh. Oh, ignore my ugly bra strap. Um, it's so soft, you guys. So soft. I want to, like, pile this everywhere on my face. Um, now, you don't have to buy the crazy expensive limited edition compact, and then it would be more affordable. Still be really expensive, but it would be more affordable. Dang, I feel like I am glowing. Okay, so that's really pretty. Um, we will see if this maintains its glowiness throughout the day, and I will check in with you guys and let you know if I needed to reapply, if it got weird, if it started getting blotchy, et cetera, et cetera. So I will check back in with you guys in just a little bit. So I've had my makeup on for about three hours now and I haven't touched up anything. And I have to say, I feel like this is very like creamy glowy. It is not shimmery glowy. It is still there. Like it's giving like a nice highlighty effect and I enjoy it, but I don't think it's worth like the crazy price tag. So I'll check in again later on, but let's zoom in a little bit. It's just, you know, it's making my skin look pretty. No complaints. But it's not like I absolutely, wow, that was very passionate. <laughs> it's not like I absolutely have to have this. Like, I don't feel like I have to have this. But it does make me curious. I am going to, you know, see how this wears throughout the day. And then, you know, I have it now. So I think I will use it again. But yeah, so far it's pretty. Um, I don't think that it is because of this particular product, but what in the heck? Look how oily I am. What the heck? Oh my god. Why? Why? I need to fix that. Like, it, I need to address the situation. I will be right back. To be fair, I like have been in hot weather outside, running around, walking a lot. Um, so I kind of feel like my makeup is a little bit messed up because of that. Uh, right. I don't like this product, actually. Um, wait, let me take that back. It's not that I don't like this product. I just do not think it's worth the money. I feel like the sheen that I had, like, ignore the grease or whatever situation, but the sheen that I have is nothing that's, like, so much better than my hourglass or other highlighters. I just do not see the reason for this to be so expensive. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at with this product. It was nice. It went on pretty. It wasn't a bad product, but it's not worth the crazy amount of money. Boys everywhere. Hookah. What do you have to say for yourself? Mommy cleans up after you and all you do is go back into the toy bin and like bring crap everywhere. What do you know? This goes back here. And this. And this goes here. Okay. There we go. Better. I have a turkey sandwich and we're going to watch some Blacklist with my expensive makeup on my face. Okay, bye. And here we are at the end of the day and I am cozy in my hoodie and I'm wondering why in the hell did I purchase this? I don't understand it. Aside from the fact that it smells so, so delicious of like violet, like you know if you've ever had a violet candy, I know that sounds weird, but there's this one brand that has these little violet candies and it smells exactly like that is so heavenly um i keep like touching my nose to it um okay the compact i don't understand why you need to pay so much money for this i don't even think it's that pretty if i'm really just now getting like down to it and telling you guys like mm. um and i don't notice a difference with my makeup at all like at all do you guys see a difference i actually you know i blotted my face and then i took my little powder guy here and i was like putting more on and i'm like it's not really doing anything. You know, on the website it says to, you know, use this on the high points of the face, kind of like a highlighter. But then I was just like, well, let's see what happens if I put it everywhere. And I don't feel like it's doing anything. I feel like my ambient powders from Hourglass are kind of the same thing. Maybe these are a tad bit glowier, but I just think that this is way crazy overpriced. I still love my Guerlain primer. I still love their bronzer. And if you guys love the meteorites and you are into this, 
I definitely suggest don't go with the limited edition thing. It's just heavy and kind of obnoxious. You don't need it. It's it's a waste of money. Um, they do have a more affordable but still expensive option when you don't purchase the limited edition compact. Yeah. Uh huh. I wasted my money. Bravo to me. Yay, WTF. Um, I don't even know what I'm going to do with this, actually. Because I kind of want to keep using it just because I bought it. And I'm like, oh, I should probably use it. But I don't really see much of a difference of anything. So there you have it. That is this week's WTF. I hope that you enjoyed this. Please give this a video a thumbs up if you like me buying really crazy expensive makeup and then putting it on and taking you through my day. Let me know you still love this series. Thumbs this video up. I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you're having a good one and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.